all, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to present you the books that helped me become an international master. I became an international master on the 3rd January 2024 when I beat Grand Master Hilla Persian Tiger of Sweden in the 7th round of the Hilton Cup 2024. Here we are in, in, our book, in my book collection. Here we go. So the first book that I want to show you is one which had a profound influence on me. This book is called Forcing Chess Moves, The Key to Better Calculation by Charles Hurtle. It was published by New and Chess Magazine in 2008. It's an excellent book and it tells about what, how we can calculate forcing, forcing chess moves and how we can calculate them, how we can be forcing brute, it talks about brute force calculation, how the machines calculate. If we see this, chapter 1 is stock forcing moves, stock mating attacks, brute force combinations, surprising forcing moves, equal or, equal or stronger threats, so on and so forth. The forward is by the three-time US champion, which is a big thing actually, Joel Benjamin, and he talks about engines and how we can make the most out of it. This is an excellent book published in 2008. The second book I want just a moment. The second book I want to show you is something inside the box by Jacob Bogard. This is the last book in the Grandmaster Preparation series till now. This was published by Quality Chess in memory of Mark Dorezki, who was the mentor of Jacob Bogard and also a coach, and uh, also the coach of Jacob Bogard, sir. And he uh, sadly passed away in 2016. And this is a part autobiography, part book by Ike Bogart. As you can see in the chapter, there is simple but difficult psychology of chess improvement, who are you, decision making, four types of decisions. One thing I specifically write, like about this book is this chapter, the psychology of chess improvement, like you can see, you can go to the forward and see it's page number 37, wherein he talks about support and how you should, the psychology of chess improvement. Here he talks about, this is a very beautiful thing that I want to show you. This is Sabino Fioser. Sometimes we, all we need for success is someone who believes in us. After she lost her mother to cancer at the beginning of 2017, Sabina Fioser's fiance, Elshan Moria Dabadi, built a small team of supportive people around her to assist her in her wish to play chess as a tribute to her biggest fan, her mother. Two months later, she won the US Women's Championship with a one point margin. The chess training and preparation helped, but in my estimation, not as much as the emotional support in which th that we all believed in her. This is a very touching tribute to that lady and to Mark Dvoretsky in this, as we have seen earlier. This is an excellent book which I re wholeheartedly recommend to everybody. This I read lately after 2018 because it was published in 2018, but this book had a profound influence on me. Now there are, we come to two classics. This is Fire on Board by Alexei Shirov. As you can see, I have used this book quite a lot. And uh, uh, Alexei Shirov is known to be a very good attacking calculative player who was very good at sharp calculation. And he has written this book, uh, Rookie 4 in Kramnik Shirov, Linares 1994. And uh, he has written this excellent book. And he is given a lot of puzzles, a lot of positions, how he thought how he won uh, a lot of insights about his coach Zigurds Lanka in this book and this book had a profound influence on me. Uh, I have also made some notes as you can see here, consistency, always appreciate others, uh, momentum is the key and some things that I did back when I was a kid. Uh, this book had a profound influence on me and is extremely good. The next book we come to is Fire on Board Part 2. This is his career from 1997 to 2004 and this was uh, published by Everyman Chess. This is the struggle without limits, notes on creativity and selected games. And uh, it's written by uh, Alexis Shudov who is a great tactician and a very good player. He qualified for the world championship match against Gary Kasparov although due to certain things, uh, due to certain limits the match could never be held. And this is an excellent book and I would recommend. Uh, what I have heard is that these kind of books which are in this kind of notation and the author is not engine checked thoroughly. What they, what we should do is, for example, I am reading this book. I just pick a random game. Shirov Grishuk, uh, New Delhi 2000. We just pick this book. We just read. We just memorize it. Not memorize it. We just play through the moves in our mind. And then we... Uh, we, this helps us in improving our visualization of the board and visualization is something very key for chess development. 
this is an excellent book and uh, there are many great games in this book now we come to master and chess strategy by johans helsten this was th he has also later on made a chessable course on this book this is master and middle game strategy and uh, basics of concepts a review of the concepts improving pieces bishops knights rooks queens kings of the bishop pair realizing a material advantage and there are total of 382 pages and it's an excellent book which i improved a lot to improve uh, i used a lot to improve so they're very nice examples and uh, it's an excellent book this is coupled with the solutions of the exercises that are presented in this book position one position two position three and uh, okay this is basically together and it's a very good book to improve your general understanding of the game the next book we come to is test your endgame ability by august Lifshitz and john spielman this was gi given to me by my first coach and mentor mithilesh kumar shivastava sir here this i used a lot to improve my endgame ability uh, how to use this book which is a very important chapter pawn and games knights against pawn bishop against pawn knight endings and this is extremely extremely good this is the rating conversion table how much you score how uh, how it corresponds to your rating level and um, this is an extremely good book where there are a lot of exercises and i have written my score 49 my percentage 98 and i'm thinking my rating is 2800 and being very happy about it okay this was one of the easy chapters to be fair but then i scored 40 and then my rating change is 2400 in in this kind of in this test so and so on and so forth so this is when i was a little kid and the chapters were a little easier but uh, oh here I find there is a diploma of mine for participation in a tournament. A diploma of mine for participation in another tournament. So this is something. But uh, okay, this is just generally something we came up to. And there is a, there is a newspaper clipping that I find here of mine when I had won the Indian National Junior Championship. So okay, these are fond memories I have. Uh, then we come to this series which is very, very special to me. This is the decision making series in chess and this is written by Boris Kilfin in collaboration with Yiko Bogar. So how they wrote this book is they used to have Skype sessions very often and what they used to do is they used to, uh, it's actually even mentioned in the forward, forward and uh, what they used to, okay anyway, but what they used to do is that they used to have Skype sessions and they used to revise the material, they used to add on to the material, Boris Kilfin in collaboration with Yiko Bogar. And then they, what happened was that they used to come to a choose, okay, we should include this, we should not include this. And the writing has been done by Jacob Bogart, but uh, with a lot of collaboration with Boris Kilfin. So it's basically a joint effort between the two. And this is an extremely good book, which won many awards. And it's it's an excellent book. As you can see in the chapters, there are playing in the style of Akiba Rubinstein, who's also Jacob Bogart. Uh, Boris Griffin's favorite player, the squeeze, piece advantage, transmission of pawn structures, and uh, it's it's an absolutely beautiful book. And the comments to the game uh, space advantage in the game Gilfin versus Vishyanand from World Championship 2012 Game 7 is just absolutely excellent. Now we come to another book of the same series, which was published together with Position Decision Making in Chess, Dynamic Decision Making in Chess. This book, I would say, is is written in the same way. Uh, it's it's more about dynamics in chess. It's you, as you can see, the chapters are Minsk 1979, the first top tournament Boris Kilfin attended as a spectator, Petrushin and how he influenced Kilfin, the nature of tactical mistakes in chess, tactics at the top level, so on and so forth. And it's again an excellent book, as you can see. Again, I have written some notes in this book while I used to solve them or I used to read them. So uh, yeah, it's, it's it's an excellent book, absolutely excellent. And I really like this cute uh, cartoon. Here there is Karyakin, Grishuk, Mama Diarov, Nakamura, Andre Kane, Karwana, Magnus. And stay there guys while I teach the computer spoil generation some basics. And Kramnik is saying, get them Boris. And Anand is saying, yes, especially the one with the hammer, referring to Carlson who had hammer as a second. So this is a fun little cartoon which is also shared. 
Then we come to another video, uh, another book, Technical Decision Making in Chess by Boris Gilfriend. And here he is again told about Akiba Rubinstein and how he had influence, turning points, active or passive defense, a bad plan is better than no plan at all. And it's about decision making in end games. While the first two books focused on middle games, these two books, this one and the next one I'm showing, are more focused on end games. In general, they cover all aspects of the game, but I would say technical decision making in chess and major piece end game endings is more suited towards end games, while the first two I would say are more suited towards middle game. The next book we come to is decision making in major piece endings. This was also written as a collaborative effort between Ogad Sir and Mr. Gilfand, and uh, yeah, this was uh, this I'm actually in the process of reading. The importance of analysis, do not hurry, surprisingly complicated rook endings, two defensive methods in rook endings, and uh, it's some there are some excellent books and some excellent pictures here. So, uh, yeah, uh, these are some of the books. Then, two other books that I would want to highlight are these books, these are by Alexander Panchenko, Mastering Chess Middle Games, lectures from the All Russian School of Grandmasters. This is also uh, this Alexander Panchenko created I think 12 or more than 12 grandmasters and he was a great coach and uh, one of his big, biggest brightest students was Artyom Timofeev and uh, this is a very good book and uh, so Sergei Rublevsky was also one player who has done a lot of work in this book and uh, it's an excellent book with a lot of exercises solutions and uh, a lot of practical advice on how to improve on chess. Then we come to one of my favorite books, The Anand Files. This is written by Mich Michael Abel, who is a Dutch author, and he's written this book for quality chess. And he, this is the World Championship story from 2008 to 2012, and comprises of three World Championship matches which Anand Sir played in 2008 against Kramnik, in 2010 against Gilfin, and in 2012 against Topolov. And uh, sorry, 2008 against Kramnik, 2010 against Topolov, and 2012 against Gelfand. So uh, this is an excellent book, and how they prepared for the World Championship, preparing for Topolov, Sofia, preparing for Gelfand, Moscow, introduction, and uh, why I have written this book. And what happened was that Michael Abel introduced and interviewed a lot of people who were part of the World Championship of. Uh, 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 who were part of Team Anand for these World Championships and how they envisioned the match, how they thought things worked, what things worked well, what didn't, novelties which weren't played, which are still relevant now. And this is an absolute classic. Now we come to the final segment. This is the World Championship. These are the books from Kasparov. And uh, these are mostly based on Kasparov. As you can see, it's the longest game the World Championship matches between uh, between Kasparov and Karpov, Small Steps to Success by Sam Shanklin. Okay, these two are not Kasparov, but My Great Predecessors by Kasparov and My Great Predecessors Part 1 by Kasparov as well. Let's go in there. So, this first volume comprises of Staney's, Lasker, Capablanca, Alec Hine, and uh, this is about uh, his World Championship matches. Chess before Staney's, Wilhelm the first, Emmanuel the second, Joe Stroll, Capablanca the third, Alexander Alekhine the fourth, and this is uh, the champions as symbols of the time and the face of chess. And uh, this is uh, then they wrote about all the he writes about all the world champions that have come, and then how chess was played before this. And there are a lot of tales, a lot of stories, a lot of history about this, and it's the, it's been adapted by Kasparov and written by Kasparov, I think along with Meg, Mig Grigengard in this series. And uh, the second volume is of uh, four other world champions. This is Max Yue, Mikhail Botvinnik, Vasily Simislov, and Mikhail Tal. And uh, this is again written by uh, this is again written by Gary Kasparov along with Mick Greengard, if, if I'm not mistaken. And this is about Max Uwe, as I told you, uh, in uh, some time back. And uh, it writes about various people, how they became world champions, their, their games, their, the historical significance of the games, and is an absolutely beautiful book. Now we come to the later end of the video. Now we are talking about Small Steps to Giant Improvement by Sh Sam Shanklin. This is a very interesting thing which Sam Shanklin writes. He writes only about pawn play and how, if you see on the chapters here, how he writes about how 
in this there are pawns cannot move backwards compelling enemy moves enemy pawns forward pawns seldom move sideways compelling enemy pawns sideways and this is a wonderful book which has good reviews by a lot of strong players this was as i read in an interview in title for players for, from 2200 to 2300 level but it has captured the chess world's imagination and is an absolutely excellent book next we come to small steps to giant improvement mastering past pawn play and this is part 2 of the series this is about past pawns and this again it by sam shankland and it talks about past pawns in the middle game past pawns in the end game and different chapters here and uh, it's 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 also a very good book and he also talks about how the first book that he wrote helped him win the us championship in 2018 which is an excellent achievement now this come we come to the final book of this series the longest game by anatoly kar which is referring to the world championship matches between anatoly karpov and garry kasparov written by jan timman who was also a top player at that time he writes about the longest game the dramas of the world championship the uh what happened how it happened how these two became such great uh such great rivals and how their animosity their rivalry is something not animosity but their rivalry is something to be cherished for the chess world you can see here i have not written much because at that at this time at this point i was already uh old enough to realize that we should not write on books my mom often asked me not to write on books So as you can see, these are some excellent pictures like Chief Arbiter's with his Tsar Gligorich, Inspector Karpov's chair in the Hall of Columns, and uh, it's an it's it's also a very nice book, and uh, it has some beautiful pictures. So and you see these these pictures, Kasparov's chair at Karpov. Sorry, uh, maybe it's Believsky here, but uh, yeah, you know this is Kar- Karpov itself. and so these are excellent books and uh, these were the books that i wanted to introduce you to and these books had a significant and the lasting impact on me thank you for watching please do like share and subscribe the video if you liked thank you